Today, we're diving deep into one of the most intriguing star systems in our galaxy, TRAPPIST-1, and its potentially habitable exoplanet, TRAPPIST-1e. So, what is TRAPPIST-1, and why is it so darn interesting? TRAPPIST-1 is a star system located a staggering 39.6 light-years away from Earth in the constellation Aquarius. Discovered in 2017, it instantly made headlines due to its unique characteristics. At the heart of this system is a red dwarf star, TRAPPIST-1 itself. Red dwarfs are much smaller and cooler than our Sun, but they can still host planetary systems. They're incredibly common in the universe, making up about 70 to 80% of all stars. TRAPPIST-1, being a red dwarf, is only about 8% of the Sun's mass and shines with a faint faint, reddish glow. Now, here's where things get exciting. TRAPPIST-1 is home to not one, not two, but seven exoplanets. Yep, you heard that right. These seven worlds orbit this tiny star. They discover these exoplanets using the transit method, where astronomers look for dips in the star's brightness as the planets pass in front of it. Now, let's talk about what's got everyone buzzing, the habitable zone. That's the region around a star where conditions might be just right for liquid water to exist on a planet's surface. And as we all know, where there's water, there's potential for life as we know it. In the case of TRAPPIST-1, its habitable zone is much closer to the star than our sun's. Remember, TRAPPIST-1 is much cooler than our sun, so its habitable zone is closer in. The exoplanets in this zone are much cozier, snuggled up close to their dim but cozy star. Now, let's meet the magnificent seven exoplanets of TRAPPIST-1. Each of these planets is a unique world with its own story. TRAPPIST-1b, the innermost planet is a scorched world, far too hot for life as we know it. TRAPPIST-1c, the next planet out is also too hot, with a surface temperature that could melt lead. TRAPPIST-1b, this planet is a bit cooler but still not quite in the habitable zone. Its surface is likely rocky. TRAPPIST-1e, ah, uh, here's our star player. TRAPPIST-1e is right in the sweet spot of the habitable zone. We'll come back to this one. TRAPPIST-1f, just a bit farther out, this planet could potentially support liquid water on its surface, depending on its atmosphere. TRAPPIST-1g, sometimes called the water world, it's a bit larger than Earth and might have a substantial amount of water. TRAPPIST-1h, the outermost planet, it's a mysterious icy world. Now, let's zoom in on TRAPPIST-1e. This exoplanet is the one that's captured the imaginations of scientists and space enthusiasts alike. TRAPPIST-1e is the fourth planet from its star, TRAPPIST-1, and it's just a bit larger than Earth. It orbits its star in about six days, which is incredibly fast compared to our Earth year. Because it's so close to its star, it's likely tidally locked, meaning one side always faces the star while the other is in perpetual darkness. That could lead to extreme temperature differences. But here's the exciting part, with the right atmosphere, TRAPPIST-1e could potentially have a stable climate and liquid water. So, the big question on everyone's mind is, could there be life on TRAPPIST-1e? To answer this question, we have to think about life as we know it. Life on Earth is incredibly adaptable, thriving in the harshest environments, from deep ocean vents to scorching deserts. But life needs a few key ingredients, liquid water, a stable environment, and the right chemical building blocks. TRAPPIST-1e does face some challenges. It's close to its star, which means it could be bombarded by solar flares and radiation. And that tidally locked rotation, it creates some wild temperature swings. But don't lose hope just yet. If TRAPPIST-1e has a thick enough atmosphere, it could distribute heat and regulate temperatures, making it more hospitable. Astronomers are studying TRAPPIST-1e and the other exoplanets in this system using powerful telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope to learn more about their atmospheres and compositions. It's possible that in the not-so-distant future, we might get some tantalizing clues about the potential habitability of this distant world. 